Hey there, this is going to be a quick video showing how to do the aqua movement and L button strats in order to avoid getting any encounters throughout the entirety of the comp. So, the first thing you have to do is to get to this prod and you have to talk to him. Unfortunately, because it's a very, very long set of text boxes. And then move to the first area where we'll be using the L button strat. Which is right about here. So, quickly show you what happens if you keep going. We get an encounter check right about there. So instead, you see all button strats. Do have a fair bit of room for error here. You want to be careful not talking too closely to the prog, because you have a chance to get eaten by this shark right there. So be a little bit careful there. Next up, the next area for the L button strat is going to be right here at the bottom of the stairs. You'll get an encounter check. You have a fair amount of room for error there, but this works out pretty well. Unfortunately, there is no way to get only three L button strats uh, in this comp, so there's a lot of room for error on a lot of these. Next, you want to very quickly use the L button strat right here. You don't have a whole lot of room for air here. And then the final place you'll want to use it is right at the bottom of these stairs. Otherwise, we will risk an encounter. This sets you up so that you can just exit comp 1 without having an encounter check. Just to quickly show that again, while you're taking the prog back, there's a very brief time that you want to be walking for. In fact, I just simply let go of B and repress B. Otherwise, the red shark has a chance to eat you, uh, which you want to avoid. So I'll just quickly let go of B and repress it and avoid the shark. And then we'll move on to the next area. That's it. I think I forgot to do the L button strat there after reloading the save state, which is why I was getting encounter checks. So I'll just showcase that again very quickly. Uh, very quickly, actually doing the L button strat. Go B, repress. So now we can move on and we won't get any encounters. Now in area two, uh, it's a bit tr trickier because we can go for only three L button presses instead of four. If you want to be safer, you can use four L button strats and do them a bit earlier than I show, but um, I will be showing the three L button strats. You'll be doing it right about here. Excuse me, here. This is the optimal place to be doing it. There is a bit of room for error. You could do it a bit further back as I was showing, um, but you do want to try your hardest to not risk an encounter in this comp. Also, you'll want to make sure that once you move up from this corner, you're walking until you hit the wall to bait that shark. Uh, you can spend a lot of time walking there because you still have to wait for the red shark no matter what, uh, but that makes sure that, that shark that blue shark will not eat you. The next L button strat is done right about here. In fact, you can actually move a little bit further down still and do it right about there. Uh, so you won't get any counter check for a little bit. This one you want to be careful not to run into any corners. Otherwise you will get eaten by the sharks. And now, the final L button strat is done just about here. 
not a whole lot of room for error on this one. Um, which is why you want to be trying to be as strict as possible on each of them, so that you're not actually getting encounter checks on any of them. Now you'll also want to do a brief bit of walking there to bait that shark down instead of coming back around towards where you're going. And then you'll return the prod to the tank and move on to area 3. Some optimal movement, you won't get an encounter check. Now for area 3, I believe there's about 5 points that you want to use L button strats. And the first one is right about here. So we'll get an encounter check just about at the bottom of the stairs. You want to quickly hide from the red shark and then continue along and return this product to the furthest tank away from the gate. The next spot for L button strats is just about here for what I usually do, though there is a lot of room for error here. Uh, this is where I typically do. It works out perfectly to where you would normally get an encounter check very close to uh, when you're picking up the frog. And so this way, you just press the L button very shortly after dropping the next prod off. Now before you pick up the next prod, we'll have to press the L button one more time. Right about here. Actually, let me just show. We'll get the encounter check right And then there's going to be one final place that we want to press the L button. Oh, excuse me. I should also quickly show this movement off. I, I did show it, but I should explain it. Uh, you'll want to go down around this to make sure you're going around the red shark, and then go up to avoid that blue shark. Just a quick explanation. Um, and then for the final L button strat, you want to do it just about here. You'll get an encounter check. You, you have a fair bit of wiggle room there. And then there's a little bit of some weird movement here to avoid the sharks, but nothing too fancy. Turn the final prod to its tank and then you'll be at the dive man fight without ever once getting an encounter check. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time.